Hi, so if you watched my last week's video, you know that I lost my job the other week, which sucks, but luckily it wasn't anything to do with me. The company was changing its business model and I wasn't needed anymore. However, as you can tell from my accent, I'm from America. And I'm about as American as you can get. In the fact that I probably was born wearing blue jeans, came out, goo goo gaga, give me some of them Levi's. My mom's American, my dad's American, and it just turtles all the way up, man. My dad's dad's, my mom's mom, all of them, all American. I can't actually trace it anywhere back to Europe. Maybe Germany, maybe Sweden, but that fact still remains that... I'm not from the UK. Now, despite this, I consider London my home now. I moved here three years ago to study. I graduated, I got a good job out of it, and I've just kept moving up the corporate ladder, and I love it here. This is my home. However, some people don't want this to be my home, and those people are the people in the government in the UK right now. Now, I feel like most British people don't know much about the immigration in the UK. All they see is what's in the news, which is, immigration keeps increasing, gotta keep them out. They took her jibs. Well, Today, I'm hoping to inform you a bit more than the media about what migrants actually have to go through in order to get a job in the UK. Now, in America, I'm a first-class citizen. I'm a white, straight male. How much more privilege can I get? However, interestingly enough, that's not enough in the UK. Because I'm American, I'm actually heavily discriminated against when it comes to the job market. And it's not because I'm an unskilled laborer or because I'm uneducated or I don't really fit the bill well. It's actually just because of where I was born. And you think this is an exaggeration, but in fact, I've had many interviews since I lost my job. It's only been one week and I've already had five interviews. And out of those five, I had two that were so good. The jobs were perfect, the company was great. The guy was like, hey man, when can you start? Literally like, you can start in two weeks, man. And then I tell him, oh, by the way, um, I actually need sponsorship. I need a visa because I am an American. I, I come from America. And the mood completely changes. It goes from this great feeling of we've been looking for a person to fill this role for three months and no British person has come by and had this skill set to I'm really sorry. We just can't work for you. Really? You, you just can't? You just can't Be because of where I'm from. You can't spot. And that isn't necessarily their fault. It's because the UK government has put up so many walls for any company and any migrant to work together. And in fact, they're trying even harder to make it more difficult for migrants to stay. In fact, David Cameron, leader of the Tories, the current political party in power, has made it his mission to decrease the amount of migrants coming into the UK from the hundreds of thousands to the tens of thousands. However, it's not going so well, which is nice, except for the fact that now because of that, they're literally doing these stupidest things to try and keep migrants out. Did you know, in order to get a job in the UK, you already have to have a master's level degree job. That's right. It's not like they're trying to hire me to work at Topshop to pick up some clothes or anything like that. No, 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 no. I'm not taking anyone's job in the UK because also, in order for me to get a job in the UK, they have to put it on a job posting site for more than 30 days and literally interview every British person, and the only reason they can hire me is if every British person failed to meet their expectations and I am the only one available. If one British person somewhat matches me, legally, they have to hire that person. Just because I'm a migrant, and that is the st oh, that's so messed up! However, that's never the case. Because I work in such a niche area, not many people have my skill set, and it should be a lot easier for me to get these jobs, but they just can't because I'm a migrant. And in fact, they're passing more and more bills to keep the migrants out. Did you know that in order for me to get a job, I actually have to pay £1,500 to get my visa every time I get a different job? And the companies also have to pay. However, on top of that, Theresa May, one of the Tories, was like, you know what we should do? Let's charge companies £1,000 per migrant that they have. Why not? David Cameron needs some new pigs. I don't know. Where's that money even going? Are they just going to keep charging on top of charging? Also, right now, in order to get a job in the UK, the starting salary for any entry-level jobs for migrants is around £25,000. However, the lovely Tories are like, that seems a bit low, let's just increase it to 30000 so that way, anyone attempting to move to the UK, no company will want them because we're charging them way too much. Why? What? It doesn't make sense. We are skilled laborers. The UK is literally cutting out skilled labor from their market. That's nonsensical. I feel like David Cameron, at this point, is an unskilled laborer that's to British people just like, I don't know, at least he's British, but Evan, those migrants, they're just here to steal our NHS benefits and get free health care. Oh, that's actually a valid point. You might think, hmm, Evan, he's a migrant, he's coming here, what if he gets ill? Then he's going to be getting all those free health care options that I pay for with my taxes. Well, did you know that as a migrant, you actually have to pay every year for your NHS benefits? It's not free. And... I also pay on top of that because I'm paying taxes. I'm paying lots of taxes to the UK government. I'm on the next tier. So it doesn't make sense that I'm, I'm paying for the NHS 
And then I'm also paying for the NHS. And I get no benefits. If I lose my job, I don't get any of the benefits that British people do because I'm a migrant. Literally, I have a 30-day notice to get out. Once you lose your job here, it's literally like time bomb ticking. They're like, oh, we got another one. Let's try and kick him out of the country. Why? I don't know. I have a skill set that is valued very heavily in this industry, and yet the UK government just does not want me. It makes no sense. Did you know, if I had to give my two-week notice for a company, I'd be risking a huge amount because I'm not able to give a two-week notice without making a huge amount of risk. When I tell a company, hey, putting in my, my notice, I'll be gone in two weeks, that means in two weeks my old visa turns off. And then I have to hope to God that the visa for the other company goes through. Because if it doesn't, tick, 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 you've got 30 days to get out of the country. It's not fair. For the most part, I can barely legally even give a notice. Because safely, I was told by the home office that in order to switch visas safely, I have to do it immediately. Except if you do it immediately, you're no longer legally allowed to work the old company, which means that you cannot give a notice. Migrants are treated like utter crap. Now, I get this question a lot on Tumblr and Twitter, which is, Evan, I love that you came from America and you studied in the UK and you stayed. I have a dream of doing that from this country or from this country. I want to move abroad and live in England. Well, I have bad news for you because the, the loophole, the Tories like to call it, that I came in through has now been closed. I came here to study, I graduated, and I got a job after it. Makes sense. However, now you literally can't. If you come here to study, let's just say you came here for four years, you got your bachelor's, you made some friends, you made a home, you got your MSc, you're like living large, you're thinking about getting a job. Nope. Davy Cameron's like, get out. Go back to your country, because this is ours now, you intelligent, educated person. We don't want you in our economy. So you have a six-month cooling off period where you have to leave the UK and you're not allowed back for six months. Because that is how we treat people that we bring into the country. Because that makes sense. Discrimination. Yeah. Like I said, this would make a lot more sense if maybe you had no career aspects or if you weren't educated. Let's say you failed out of university or you don't have any skills and you want to work in retail. Okay, we have lots of British people for that. But the fact that the UK is turning away skilled laborers does not make sense to me, especially ones like myself who can fluently speak English and can contribute to society and pay taxes. I'm paying you taxes, Davy. How many pigs do you need? Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I just wanted to bring to light all the issues that I and many migrants have living in the UK. And hopefully things get a bit easier, though reading a lot of articles about it doesn't seem that so way. So if you're thinking of moving to the UK, I would highly recommend it only because I don't want David Cameron's stupid laws to stop you from following your friggin' dreams. It's a great country here, despite the fact that they hate you, literally, if you're not from the UK. But despite that, I do love it, and I'm gonna keep on the job search despite the fact that it's really difficult. If you wanna stay up to date with me and find out how my job search is going, you should probably just follow my Twitter, because I will tweet it there, or just subscribe, because I make new videos every Sunday. I'm a very positive person, so I feel like everything will work out for me. I just really feel for people that aren't in my position where they are migrants and it's a lot harder for them. Because even though I find it disgustingly difficult for me, I know it's even harder for others and I just really feel for them. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you did like it. Uh, I will see you guys next week. Goodbye. <laughs>